Hey Virgo, I hope you guys are all doing really well. So this is going to be a general love reading for the first half of November 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. We will be looking specifically into your person's energy towards you. So it could be that you are a Virgo watching for someone or maybe your person that you're watching for is a Virgo. It could go either way. This reading is general, so it will also not resonate for all of you, but if you would like a personal reading, all that information is in the description box below this video. All right, Virgo, let's see what is going on here. How is this person thinking or feeling about you in the first half of November 2022? All right, for the situation, we have the Wheel of Fortune crossed by the King of Wands. Okay, there's a shift that is happening. I feel like, you know, it's almost like the way this is coming in, it's like destiny is playing out or trying to play out, like the universe is trying to move things in a particular direction. Um, but this person is having a hard time like believing in that um, or, you know, just really feeling confident about where this venture is going. Let's see the recent past for them. We have the Seven of Wands, and in the near future, we have the Ten of Wands. Okay, so this person is coming from a place of having been pretty defensive. Um, I feel like there's some resistance here. And, and it's interesting because I feel like, you know, it, the universe is really pushing them in a certain direction and they've just been resisting it. Now, what I do see coming up, though, with this Ten of Wands is that it's just going to get harder and harder and harder for them the more that they resist. Let's see. So eventually, I mean, they're just going to have to release that, you know, that resistance. In their consciousness or what they're thinking, we have temperance. Okay, so that's Sagittarius energy. Some of you might be dealing with a Sagittarius or maybe maybe you're a Sagittarius. Um, and in their subconscious, we have the King of Pentacles. So I get that the reason why this person is trying to resist this shift is because in that way, they're trying to find some kind of balance, trying to um, maintain some sort of equilibrium or like hold the peace. So whatever this change is, wherever the, <clears throat> the universe is moving them towards, they, they're resisting it because they feel like it might disrupt their peace. Like this is somebody who just wants a lot of stability and this change that is being imposed on them would probably, or at least the way they see it, I don't know how true this is, but um, from their perspective, it would kind of shake up their stability or it would compromise that. Let's see their current energy towards you. We have the two of swords. Yeah, I'm not surprised. So they're trying to either block you out or just, you know, not really making some kind of a decision or just being a little bit stagnant. For your energy, we have death. All right, Scorpio energy. Maybe some of you are Scorpio. Um, yeah, you're ready for things to change. You're ready for this change or you're just ready for a change. Um, you, I, I get you don't really like the way that this situation has played out and I don't blame you at all. Let's see their hopes and fears, which is oftentimes also the obstacle. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, so this person has a fear of starting on a new path and pretty much feeling like they would need to rebuild their stability. So let's clarify and get more information here. All right, so for the Wheel of Fortune with the King of Wands, let's see, Wheel of Fortune crossed by the King of Wands. The Six of Swords, the King of Pentacles again, and the Eight of Swords, yeah. I feel like this is like the major theme in this reading. This person has a fear of disrupting what they consider to be their stability. So because of that, you know, they're distancing themselves from this connection. Um, they're just, or they're trying to find some sort of peace. They're trying to find some sort of peace. They're trying to find some sort of stability because I'm not sure that they are as stable as they are um, thinking that they are, but they're trying to at least find that bit of stability, but it's not, it's not working. Eight of swords. There's, um, it's just keeping them stuck what they've been doing. I mean, I do feel like this is going to change because of that 10 of wands, um, in their, in their near future here, because they're not going to be able to carry the weight of this, um, forever. So let's 
clarify temperance in their consciousness. The Seven of Wands again, <laughs> and the Eight of Pentacles. Oh. So what, I mean, they're still, they're still resisting. They've been resisting and there's still a little bit of this resistance here, but what they don't realize is that, I mean, they're putting so much effort. It's like literally draining them to resist this. And I feel like the more that time passes, the more and more that this resistance is going to drain them and wear them out. So rather than reaching that state of peace that they are seeking, it's actually going to do quite the opposite. Um, for some of them, they could be really focused on work. Like that could be one way of avoiding this and just like drowning out the, the connection here or what it is that they are truly feeling. They're just resisting this change. Let's see the King of Pentacles in their subconscious. The Two of Swords again and the Page of Swords. So this is a person who is also overthinking a lot. Um, they're thinking in a way where it's, I feel like it's all over the place. Like they're trying to find the stability. They think they're going to find peace and stability, but really like they're just overthinking the whole situation and that is holding them back. Um, they really feel like, you know, if they just, you know, don't talk to you or if they keep their distance, that that is actually going to make them feel more stable. And again, it's not. And I feel like I'm saying I'm repeating myself because this message just keeps coming through over and over again. Um, wow. All right. Let's see this two of swords in their current energy towards you. The Emperor and the Ten of Swords. Okay, so yeah, they're they're thinking that by keeping this distance from you that they're also like maintaining some kind of a control. Um, and this person probably feels like, you know, if they get close to you, then they're gonna lose control. They're gonna lose some sort of something stability that they have um, going on, whether it's real or just perceived. I don't see them as really being all that stable. I just think that maybe there is something constant in their lives like a job or like, I don't know, something else, maybe even a marriage or something, um, a tradition. And they just feel like if they are to be with you, they would have to leave that behind and, um, or make a shift in that other area. And that comes with fear. They feel like that's when they would lose some kind of stability, some kind of a control. So they are trying to block you out. But I mean, look at how they're really feeling towards you. This is their energy towards you. The 10 of swords doom and gloom <laughs> like they're feeling this pain they're just trying to really like block it out they're trying to be on top of it just have control over it it's not gonna work let's see the death card for your energy the queen of wands and the page of pentacles yeah, I feel like, you know, you're pretty determined here, um, even if it is something difficult, because I feel like it's more of something you've just kind of started when it comes to really putting an end to this or, you know, ending some kind of a cycle here, um, you know, because you don't want this. You don't want this type of a dynamic and, you know, good for you, right? You're standing strong as this queen of wands. So you're being confident, you're being assertive, you're taking charge here in terms of ending either the connection, ending the situation, ending your own thinking patterns, and moving forward, basically, bringing about some kind of a, a, your own transformation. Like if this person is resisting the shift that the universe is pushing them towards, well, you're not going to sit around and just, you know, stay stagnant with them. You're doing your own transformation. Again, I do feel like, you know, these are the first steps for you, like you're just beginning to do this, but you're doing it very, very successfully. Let's see the Ace of Pentacles. The Star, okay, so Aquarius energy and the Devil. Capricorn, the Star and the Devil, two like 
polar opposite energies here. Wow. Yeah, so this is, see, this is something that in the back of their minds they actually do wish for. This is like a love-hate relationship here that they have with this shift that is um, pretty much impeding on them. Like, I don't... I think it's almost going to be forced on them at some point. Yes, there is free will, but you know, the universe is going to keep pushing them and things are just going to get harder and harder and harder for this person um, until they make some kind of a shift. So love hate relationship here, you know, on the one hand, this is something that they do want. They also want this new beginning. They want a new sense of stability, but I feel like, you know, just the whole like um, procedure for that, like it just feels overwhelming to them. Right, and then we have the devil because they also have a fear of it. They wish for this and they also have a fear of this at the same time. And it's their own negative thinking, you know, they're overthinking, um, this fear of losing stability, which I feel is an illusion that that, that is what has been blocking them. However, with the star, I mean, that's also really positive showing that, you know, they are, they are healing something here that needs to be healed in order to get there. It just feels like they're doing it like in the most difficult way possible, like just resisting it. <laughs> um, yeah, as much as they can. Like they're just literally gonna drain themselves out resisting until like they just have no more energy left to resist. All right, so let's see this 10 of wands for their near future. The Four of Cups and the Five of Cups. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's gonna have to get harder before they actually um, release this resistance. They will, but things are gonna get pretty, pretty. Um, how do I say? It's like it's heavy. It's it's definitely heavy, but it's more like this, like deep depression, deep depression, and then just kind of like looking back and regretting, like. I, that's how I'm seeing this. Like they're just gonna look back and regret um, having resisted so much because there is just gonna wear them out. So yeah, that's pretty much what's happening here. It will get a little bit worse for them before that shift happens. But I feel like the important part in this whole reading is that you are taking steps for your own self. You are learning your own lessons here and. That's the most important. Okay, so Virgo, if this resonated, let's get the final oracle message for you. And we have new moon in Sagittarius. Luck is on your side. So whether or not you believe in luck, it doesn't matter. This is just saying, you know, that things are working out for you. Things are working out for you. The very first card out was also the Wheel of Fortune, which can talk about good luck. Um, figuratively speaking, at least. And I feel like, you know, that's exactly what the universe is doing here. I, I almost see this as actually the wheel of fortune. Like this, sh there's a shift, there's a shift happening. Um, no matter how much somebody wants to resist it, that that's happening. All right, Virgo, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.